So late last night, Wrexham made the signing of Charlton Athletic defender Owen O'Connell for an undisclosed fee. The 27-year-old has made 17 starts for Charlton this season. Phil Parkinson mentioned after the Sheffield United draw that he was looking to strengthen defensively due to injuries to Tunnicliffe and Hayden. Um, so at the moment, we're not clear how, how long Hayden and Tunnicliffe will be out for. Doesn't look like they're going to be back anytime soon and there are some rumours that Tunnicliffe could be out for the season, which could be which is quite disappointing considering how well he'd been playing and how strong defence the side had looked since he'd come into the side with no disrespect to the other defenders there. So in terms of O'Connell, so a bit of background on him. So he started his career with Celtic, making 13 appearances, which included four in the Champions League. He would then go on spend he would then go on to spend the final two years of his, of his Celtic career out on loan at Oldham, Cork and Walsall. Well though the most prominent of those would be the 17 appearance of Walsall in League One. Now af after leaving Celtic, he would go on to join Berry in League One. While he didn't make too many appearances in the first season as Berry relegated, um, in the following season he would make over 30 appearances in Barry's promotion to League One, though again, unfortunately, he would leave Barry due to their financial problems with Barry, and again, unfortunately, disappearing and dissolving. Um, hopefully, they'll come back sometime in the future. But back to O'Connell, so he would go on to join Rochdale. So he would spend the next three seasons with Rochdale, making 131 appearances over three seasons in League One and League Two, and. He seems to be well thought of at Rochdale. Um, obviously, there are always some people with disagreements, but perhaps considering that they got relegated from League One and had a you know, mid-table finish in League Two, perhaps they're expecting more. But he must have been well thought of because after leaving Rochdale, he would then go on to join Charlton in League One. He would, would sign a free rear contract and he would make 17 appearances, but he has been limited in recent weeks due to injury, with his last start being against Ipswich in October, though there has recently been a few substitute appearances as he recovered from injury. Now, perhaps his reason for moving is perhaps because Charlton have recently had a new manager come in with Dean Holden arriving in December, and it seems as though Holden's preferring other centre-backs to O'Connell, and from the statement that was mentioned on the Charlton page about him move on, it was looking like O'Connell wanted more first time appearances. And with obviously the current injury situation at Wrexham, it looks like he'd get that straighter and probably would you know move into the first team. So he's arrived at Wrexham on state on a long term deal, most likely two and a half years, probably in line with other players of the club. Um as mentioned previously, probably a replacement for Tunnicliffe with no other mentions of any of signings at the moment. We, Wrexham do have Clearworth and Lennon as additional cover, so it should be okay while Hayden and O'Connor recover. So I'm guessing the back three will probably be Tozer, O'Connell and Clearworth um, with Lennon as backup. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's another centre-back to come in because we do know with Lennon's injury record and... Again, if someone else <clears throat> if someone else goes down injured, we'll be a bit stuck. I mean, I would like to see perhaps some more signs. A couple ones I'm happy and I quite like would be maybe Hobson from Southend, a quite highly rated young defender who's out of contract in the summer. Um, he's only 23 and already is, is attracting interest, which I'm quite surprised you know, there wasn't any movement considering Southend's current financial issues. And like I said, with six months left in his contract, that would be a good one to pick up. And again, another player I think I'm surprised didn't move on in deadline day was da Andrew Dallas from Solihull. Again, with another six months left on his contract. It was rumoured that Hartlepool and Grimsley were interested, but no movement on that. So I, I think that'd be another good sign for Wrexham to provide additional, additional cover. But yeah, what do you what do you all think of you know this new signing and and any further signs in the future and hopefully you've enjoyed this content and if you do enjoy please like and subscribe and hear from you soon thank you goodbye